Now we are going to take a look at how Rhino manages object visibility. We can control the visibility of objects in Rhino in two ways. One is on a per object basis and the other is on a per layer basis. So if we want to hide say this line what we can do is we can click with the central mouse button and bring up the pop-up menu and click on the light bulb here that is switched off and is going to hide a the line that we selected and uh, as you can see from the command line the command that has been executed is hide we can also call it with the command line if we want to bring back the line we can click uh, with the central mouse button bring back the pop-up menu cascade the visibility option and click on show objects and the object is shown back so as you have already understood for sure this object was not deleted or anything it was still in the document but it was hidden and this is done for a convenience of the user if I don't want to see certain things I can hide them and I can work on my model and then I can bring them back to see everything I have I can also do this uh, using the um, the file menu here on top and if I select my line I go to edit I go to visibility hide or control H as you have seen uh, from the menu here I can also show back the line and if let me hide the uh, struggle part of this shoe I drew and let's um, visibility and hide so I don't see it anymore but say that I want to bring back some lines not not everything I have hidden only a few lines I can do that by going to edit visibility and show selected and I am displayed all the objects that are not visible within the current context I can select say this line press enter on the keyboard and I have my line back visible another way that I have for managing the visibility of, of objects is to create layers in this case I only have the default layer and a background image that I used to trace these lines I'm gonna create a new layer and call it work I'm gonna set it as default and then I'm going to bring this line to my new work layer with the right click and change object layers now I want to work on on my lines that are in my active layer and I want to hide the rest and I can do that by clicking on the light bulb and whatever is in my old layer is hidden this is still there as I told you already but it's hidden so I can structure my model in layers uh, divided by um, contextual information so that they they share a meaning for example I have now uh, my working layer that has my struggle part and the default layer that has the upper part I could even think to change I call it this upper and this sole so that now I can reorder layers and I can create a new layer and call it shoe and move it up and move the the other two layers inside the shoe layer so that I am creating kind of a folder structure I can manipulate and organize my document in layers so that it is easier for me to uh, hide and show whatever I'm not interested in this also allow me to uh, better understand the content of my of my file 
and you got to remember that everything that I create gets into uh, the current layer so for example if I draw now a line this line is going to be in the sole layer if I now make the uh, shoe layer active I can hide this and you will see that the upper part goes away and if I hide the sole layer everything that is inside the sole layer is hidden and as you have seen this line that I created was in the sole layer and now it's hidden I can also check on, on the bottom part if I am using Rhino 6 in the bottom part here I have the the layer of the object that I selected in this case is shoe uh, and sole because it's the shoe layer and as uh, the sole layer is a uh, child let's say it's uh, fully uh, included into the sole uh, into the shoe layer if say I bring back my background image that I used or, or I create a new layer maybe for better understanding and now I hide my shoe um, layer everything that is uh, inside the layer so also the sub layers are going to be hidden so to recap I can control the visibility in a couple of ways inside Rhino on a per object basis by clicking on my object and hiding a single object and I can always bring back my objects by going to the visibility options on the second uh, hand I can um, control the visibility by layers so I can hide uh, a group of objects that are inside a layer so all the things that are inside my upper all the things that are inside my soul and I can uh, mix and match these two things Jevero moreover offers the pattern parts but um, be, being that this is a introduction to Rhino we're not going to cover the pattern parts and I suggest you to watch the pattern parts visibility management video to understand more about that kind of visibility management.